Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer Programme and today's ball what we're looking at is a Raven E84 ET Mark II and what we're going to be doing today is looking at this operation, the sequence, what happens in hot water mode and central heating. Okay, so in central heating mode, first thing you have to do is have the selector switch on heating, like you can see here. Have the timer on, you press that manual button there and that should be the on position and also you've got your room thermostat if fitted and then the hot water, sorry the heating will commence. What we'll do, we're going to look at the diverter valve and just go through its function on that for the heating. So in heating mode the diverter is at rest. So we're going to look at how the flow goes around the boiler. So this pipe here is the flow pipe and it's coming down like this way. It goes across through the pressure switch. This is a diverter valve. The diverter valve flow goes this way at the end of it and down and out to the radiators and then it returns back through the pump so the flow, the return sorry, goes this way through the pump and then the pipe at the back which you can't see that goes up into the heat exchanger to get reheated so that's the circuit of the central heating now for the controls of the central heating what you've got is the central heating thermistor which is this is an external one we fitted that's the internal one we was having a lot of problems with this so um, we fitted a external one as you can see you've got the overheat thermostat so they've got to be calling the thermistor must be calling so once that does all that then you can have the pump running. Once the pump starts running, you can have the fan at the top. That's going to run. It's going to make the air pressure switch. That will send a signal down to the PCB, which is located here. That then will send a spark up the spark lead to the spark electrode and then the flame sensing electrode will detect that and keep the burner going. Also the gas valve will open that will release gas through this pipe up into the burner through the jets. The burner will light on a low flame initially and then it will modulate up to whatever it's set at. So the burn will be on and that's your central heating operation. To do the modulation, it's done through this part of the gas valve, this green part, that's called the modular egg, modulating coil. That then governs the high and low gas to the burner. Also on the gas valve, this is for um, people doing gas portfolio want to know a bit more about the gas valve on the working pressure and burner pressure your working pressure is taken from the inlet that's the one at the bottom and your burner pressure is the outlet taken from the top one so for the hot water function on the front of the boiler You've got the hot water thermostat, that's going to be calling on the front and then the tap's going to open. That plunger will push out, make the micro switch. The diverter valve will then move internally. Anything else will work the same, the fan air pressure switch as I said before. But the sort of difference is the diverter valve function. 
and the flow of the primary water around the boiler. So this is a flow pipe, so it's going to come down here as before to the diverter valve. Now this time this port will be shut off so it can't go to the radiators. That pipe at the back is from the back of the diverter, it will go across down here and back through the pump up the return into the main heat exchanger. At the same time the cold water inlet is coming through here, passes through the water section, goes up to the heat exchanger which is a pipe at the back you can't see, goes through the heat exchanger, gets heated up by the gas the emissions and etc and then come back down hot through the hot water outlet through the sensor then out to the taps so that's the flow of how the hot water works so that's the end of this video on the functionality of this boiler so if that was useful for you you can give us a like or subscribe to our channel and um, we'll see you on the next video. So thank you for watching.